I do remember somebody was asking for onions, and I thought they were asking for socks. I remember that, and I said, we have no socks. <laughs> because at times I play around with my customers, and I like to know if they know what I'm telling them. And half of the time they know, and half of the time they don't know. Now, you know, I feel, you know, proud that I, my parents taught me both languages up there. You can be talking English right there, next thing I know I'm talking to one, and there's the Spanish comes in right there, and we'll say, you know, two or three sentences in Spanish right there, next thing I'm going to English right there. Fueron a pescar aquellos? This morning, early in the morning. I thought, uh, uh, what's his name? Pasquale, he said they were going last night. I know you. They went last night, Pasquale didn't go. He probably went somewhere else. There's a lot of people, even white people, they speak the Spanish. It don't matter, I'm business as usual, I'm moving on. Oh, give me a USA Go 100. Live start. No, no, that red one, that tall red one, that was SDC. Uh-huh. 560. Don't win them. Gracias. Thank you very much. And you have a nice day. Yeah, too. Here, there's a lot of uh, people from Mexico. If they talk to me in Spanish, I talk to them in Spanish. If they talk to me in English, I talk to them in English. Here, look. Here comes my friends from Mexico. These are my little friends. Buenos días. ¿Cómo amanecieron? ¿Tomas un café? Dos cafés. Okay, a los vemos. Buenos días. I I really wanted to speak Spanish, and I learned some words, and um, um, I was married to David Vega, and I said to him, I've learned some Spanish words, and I would say them to him, and he'd look at me. And he'd like, what was that? And I said, well, that's this. He said, no, we say it this way. So I went through this, and I said, well, this doesn't make sense. Why I'm, and I, what I was doing, I was learning the proper Spanish, not the mix that they have here. The immigrants that come from Mexico, that are around here, they, they do. They use the, I guess it would be the proper, the correct uh, 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 Spanish right there. And then you have the ones that are here, and what we talk Text mix. If you say listen, we say oye me, me oyes, oyes, and they escuche. It's the, you know, correct word right there. That's what I'm saying. It's stuff like that right there that, that we, that we don't use the correct Spanish. It, it's a text mix here right there. ¿Qué tiempo tienen aquí los A las diez y media. A las diez y media. Yeah, lo que tienen que ver con veces se pone a ocupado y rato cerrar la la compañía ahí. All of my family, my, my, my brothers and sisters, I mean, we're all bilingual with her. We learned the Spanish growing up, and then we learned the English in school. The younger generation, you get one out of five with her that can actually be bilingual. It's actually really died down. Well, my mom learned how to speak English with her grandkids. They look at you, if you talk to them in Spanish, they just look at you. They understand it, but they can't speak it. But they understand everything you tell them in Spanish, but they just don't talk it. They talk it funny. They try to, and, and they talk funny. So, nothing but English. When my oldest daughter was in uh, grade school, and that was quite a while ago, uh, they offered Spanish, and I was just like, oh, I want you know, I want her to take it right away. I, w I wanted all my children to learn another language, especially Spanish, because it was dominant here. I don't know. It, it seems like there, it's not important no more to, to the younger generation that to be bilingual. To, even though that the society now, but there, it's a lot of places require, you know, uh, 
be bilingual with some stuff that you don't use, but there, with a time we'll forget, but there, we will be, you know, you will lose, in, uh, if you don't stay in touch with it, but there, you'll lose it, but there.